This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Today we're talking about a rare June severe weather episode. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Zachary Hall and welcome back to the Arkansas Storm Tracker YouTube channel. It's been a few weeks since I've uploaded anything. I've been on the road a lot, I've been busy, and the severe weather episodes in Arkansas have been very limited. That is likely changing starting tomorrow. I'm filming this on Friday. We have severe weather chances tomorrow, Saturday. We have uh, severe weather chances on Sunday. And I think we're gonna have another uh, chance, maybe a chance or two for severe weather next week. This is the risk for tomorrow, and as you can see, we have a fairly large risk area, including an enhanced risk area across southwest Arkansas. That's a level three of five. This entire risk area is mainly for damaging winds, large hail, and a very low tornado threat. Fast forward to Sunday. This is our severe weather risk. Notice the large yellow shaded area. That's a slight risk, level two of five, damaging winds, large hail. Still a few days away from this, so we'll have to keep an eye on it, see if there's any changes. I think the heightened potential will be across Northeast Arkansas. So everyone wants to know, Zach, what's the timing? I got plans this weekend, I ain't got time for this. I understand, let me see if I can show you a few model images to help clarify that a little bit better. This is what the radar could look like on Saturday. We can start as early as 9 a.m., 10, 11, noon, 1, 2 p.m. You can see storms are starting to move into central southwest Arkansas, north central Arkansas, and then into eastern Arkansas by 5, 6, 7 p.m. So if you have plans on Saturday afternoon in central and eastern Arkansas like after lunch, this is something that you probably need to keep tabs on. There could be stronger winds and maybe some large hail if we see any stronger complexes of storms. As far as Sunday goes, the timing is a little bit more unclear, but I think we'll have the problems in the afternoon hours, likely after lunch, much like Saturday. I apologize for the low resolution with this model, but you can see on the GFS, if you fast forward to the afternoon hours, it shows one of those stronger storm complexes in the northeastern part of the state. That's why I mentioned that earlier. So I think that's where we'll have to watch, you know, 4, 5, 6 p.m. in northeast Arkansas on Sunday. I'll let you guys know if that timing changes or if we get something a little bit more uh, dialed down. As far as rainfall potential goes, this is some WPC guidance for the next seven days. Guys, that is guidance showcasing two to three inches worth of rainfall. This won't be perfect. But the only reason I'm showing in here is because it's a great signal for rain, something that some of you need greatly. I know a lot of people are worried about rainfall, when they're gonna get their next chance. I think many of you will get some beneficial rainfall over the next seven days. Once we roll into next week, we're not done with severe weather. And I know that's odd for me to say in the middle of June, but it looks like we're gonna have another upper level storm system that moves through that could offer up some thunderstorms possibly some strong to severe. The first thing I wanna show you guys is the 500 millibar wind profile for next week. This is essentially the upper level winds way up in the atmosphere. Strong Southern Oklahoma, North Texas upper level winds. This will eventually translate down into Arkansas as you can see here. This is very rare for June. We rarely ever, I've never seen this before. Doesn't mean it's never happened, but it's definitely not common. So this is one reason why my alarms are going off for severe weather potential. Keeping things simple, we have to have an unstable air mass for severe weather. And we're gonna have plenty of that next week. It's June guys, it's hot and humid all the time. The atmosphere will be juiced. So any disruptions, any sort of disturbances could kick storms off. And with the upper level winds that we just talked about, we could have organized storms and thus strong severe weather instead of our afternoon pop-ups like we usually see. So just to recap this quick video, Severe weather chances tomorrow, Saturday, possible again on Sunday, and then I think we'll have a couple, maybe one or two chances next week as well. Please don't cancel any plans. I'm not asking anyone to do that. There's no need to panic. All I'm asking you is to stay informed on the weather, keep tabs on the radar if you have plans outside, and we'll make it through this as always. Please, if you haven't done so already, head over to Facebook, follow me there. Just search Zachary Hall Arkansas Storm Tracker. I'll also include a link in the description for this video I post every single day.